the setup and how to work with your hacker blog English. In this video, we will talk about uh, Nmap tool. Okay, because uh, some of the some of my subscribers have informed me that they want to do learn directly from us and they want to learn more about cyber security tools and techniques that we generally use in the industry in the English language. So basically, we have this channel Hacker Blog English where we usually post videos which is in the English format. So in this video, we will talk about Nmap tool that is one of the best tool for our network scanning part. Okay, so slowly, slowly, we will upload few more videos regarding the network testing. So the, so that those students, those who are following us through this channel, they will be able to get more information about this tool and they will, they will be able to understand how we work in the industry and how these tools that we generally utilize in the industry are more helpful for us during the pen testing. Okay, so right now I'm using a Kali Linux version 2022.3. If you have any doubt regarding installation of Kali Linux, do let me know in the comment section. I will create a video on it once more. Okay, so directly on the top of it, you will find um, you will find a tab terminal. Just you open it. Directly you can open this Nmap tool just because Nmap tool is a, tool is a pre-installed tool inside the Kali Linux. Okay, so if you if you directly click on the terminal and just type Nmap in the command line, you will be able to access this tool. In case might be possible if you are not able to open this tool, then directly what you can do you can just click here in the start bar start option. After that you can search Nmap or either you can just easily get this in the information gathering part. Here you can see Nmap is there. Uh, generally nmap is, comes in, under two uh, versions one is a gui version that is a cli version that we are using right now and uh, sorry one is a gui version another one uh, another one is a cli version so cli right now we are using command line interface and for windows you will have a gui version where you just need to specify the you know target ip address after that you just need to select a port uh, profile and then just click on go after that it will start scanning that particular ip address but i recommend more to work on our CLI part so that you understand the Nmap tool more clearly because when you go on a GUI part in that you only see the you know target IP address and select a profile there are multi uh, multiple more commands are there which is present in the Nmap which makes this tool as a vulnerability assessment tool so if you wanted to explore this tool completely I highly recommend to go through with the uh, CLI, uh, CLI mode only okay so just by clicking here also you can directly come onto this particular terminal and just type and map okay when you type and map it's a basically half command when you see this command so basically it's a very big tool it's uh, like anybody cannot cover this entire tool within a one video so for this basically you need a series of videos like around 10 to 15 videos so that you can cover the and map entirely because it's a very well renowned tool this tool you can mention in the resume as well because in the industry people know that and map have a good importance in the network security part just not just because it uh, ran a port scan into uh, on your network to identify the open ports and it is a one of the fastest port scanner that is scan 65535 ports most of the most of the port scanners generally support 1024 ports only but this particular tool have this capacity to scan 65,535 port on each and every system. So that's make it a very unique tool as well as it includes multiple commands where you can spoof the packets, where you can, you know, uh, set the packets flags. You can also uh, specify different type of uh, scans that we have, that we have sync scan, connect scan, zombie scan, multiple more scans are there. So we will talk about this in uh, more detail in our upcoming videos. First of all, let's just go through with this tool. Right now I'm using in my lab Metexploitable 2 that I generally use uh, in my videos. That is a buggy machine where, which contains uh, inbuilt open ports and server, you know, running uh, attack on the very first time when you're going on to attempt attack on a on a very first time then i highly recommend to use a buggy platform so that when you put an attack and that software gives a response then you understand if that system is vulnerable maybe in the live scenario when you hit any uh, when you you know run any exploit or when you run any command in against of any target machine so if that particular system is vulnerable so in which manner it will give you a response so you know that response so on the very first time you it is very important to get the response if on the very first time if you get fails to get the response then the concept you cannot develop inside of you that if I will uh, use this particular payload or if I will uh, run this particular command then what will be the response if the system is vulnerable and that is really very much important people fails to identify that the target machine is vulnerable or not this is how this, this is because 
on the very first time they used to directly go on a live website live ip they try to attack this website and after that they will not get anything so the concept is not properly developed into their mind and pen testing is all about the concept that you generally develop when you try to test any platform or a network if you are able to develop that concept you are able to find out the bugs in any live system and if you are not able to develop that concept it will be very hard for you to identify the bugs might be possible the system contains a bug but you are not able to identify if that bug is present in that system or not so that's why i highly recommend to use a vulnerable machine on the very first time once you understand the concept go with the live machine and definitely you will get the bugs um, on the ta live target as well okay so first of all let me check the ip address of this machine so here you can see the by default username and password of this machine is msf admin okay if you wanted to know how to download this particular machine how to you know set up this entire hacking lab so do let me know in the comment section just type tapan sir please write a create a video on a creating a um, hacking lab i will create on it definitely okay so right now i'm into into this machine and i just type ifconfig just to get the ip address so on the top of it you will see inet address that is 192.168.220.128 so this is my ip address of my this vulnerable machine so directly go on and call in linux here you can see multiple options are there so in in order to use this tool here you can see the uses one is the nmap nmap is a command uh, tool tool name basically you need to type then after that you can specify the scan type now where does the scan type in the below you will see the scan type as well then after that you need to specify the options that it contains then after that in the end you need to specify the target specification you know the nmap is one of the best tool i have ever seen for network audits so just because the target specification does does not only belong to a single ip address but it also contains a range of an ip address it also scans the entire subnet it also can, uh, it also scan a domain as well so due to this multiple you know features through that you can scan multiple different different ta targets i personally use this tool during my audits okay so on the top of it you can see uh, so by default if you wanted to use this tool so go with the default configuration okay and later on uh, in our upcoming video if you will comment comment uh, that the puns are please create a videos uh, more detailed videos on the nmap i will definitely create uh, the uh, upcoming videos on this particular tool as well so here you can see multiple commands are there simply you just need to type nmap and then after that you can specify these discovery sn pn pre uh, treat all host as online it is very much useful but when and where you need to use it that i will disclose in my next video if you will comment down in uh, in the chat box in the comment section Although if you wanted to do any courses with us, so here I'm uh, pasting a link in the comment section, uh, in the comment section as well as in the chat box. On the top of it, you will find the link to that you can directly connect with us, and uh, we will uh, we will offer you some courses that will be very much useful for you as well. If you wanted to do any courses, please fill the form, and if you wanted to take a career guidance in uh, in the field of a cyber security i'll highly recommend to fill the form so that we can connect with you and my team will definitely guide you as well as me also over the call i will guide you how to become a cyber security expert like us okay so the first command that anybody can use it wait a second here you can see there are some sample commands that you can generally utilize hyphen v is for the verbosity okay so it means just say uh, displaying the output while running the scan you know when you run the scan so software takes longer time to run a scan during that it will not show any process so if you will specify hyphen v that means show me the show me the output which is running at the background so when you run a scan during the scan itself you can see the outputs then hyphen a is a very generous a generic scan that we generally use it uh, enables os detection it uh, enables version detection it also helps to do a script scanning that is the next level of this particular tool script scanning through that you can get multiple information in our upcoming videos if you will comment down in, uh, in the comment section uh, then i will create a video on a script scanning as well then trust root okay so let's run the command nmap hyphen v hyphen a then 192.168.220.128 okay this is my target machine ip address when i hit enter so automatically here you can see it start scanning all the port and you know the speed that you can see that's why it is called as a fastest fastest port scanning uh, tool that we generally use in the industry 
Okay, so here you can see multiple ports are there, multiple IP addresses are there. So these are the open ports. So right now it identifies that these ports are open on a target machine. Now it is started scanning for the versions as well as services that is running on these ports. So here you can see within a second itself, multiple information is started extracted from the server. So you, here you can see when I go down, let's take an example of a port number 21 as only so here you can see port 21 is open it's for the tcp 21 which is because we have two different protocol one is a udp and a tcp so right now tcp port number 21 is open so straight here you can see open filter or close close if that port is closed then it shows close if the firewall is present then it shows filtered and if it is open it says open okay so here you can see the service is running is ftp and right now the version is vsftpd.2.2 3.4 so that's the important part of this tool that just because it also extracts the version until and unless you do not know the which version is running on this port you won't be able to go for a exploitation part that's why i highly recommend to use this tool during an audit and during security testing here you can see some more information these information you cannot get it in any port scanner only nmap gives this particular extra information just because of script scanning I hope you get it, uh, get this with the default commands. One more command that you can utilize if you are not able to run this command on your live scenario, then what you can do? I recommend this particular command not for the entire network, not for an entire range, but for a specific IP address whom you uh, actually know that the system is live, but right now it's not showing any output. So you can specify hyphen PN, capital P and small n. It, uh, it says to this tool that the system is right now live. Just scan the scan that particular port that's it okay so if my deposit was if that system is down then if you are running the uh, the system is down and if you are running this tool it will start scanning that particular different different ports might be possible and then you will not get any result so i highly recommend use this command only when you are sure that the system is live and you need to go for a port scanning by skipping the ping part okay getting a point so i hope this video will be very, a little bit helpful for you to understand more about the nmap just please comment down in the uh, in the comment section create videos on nmap mode so if you will write this in the comment section i will definitely create upcoming videos on the nmap detailed videos on the nmap also if you like this video i i highly request you to please comment uh, like this video so that it uh, reach reaches on more people as well as if you wanted to do any courses with us the link is in the comment section as well as in the in the in the comment section as well as in the chat box so that's all for uh, this video. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night.